Yo, it's been a while. Back. Oh, what a beautiful evening. I just got here, drove a couple of hours, managed to duck in off the track here. Got a bit of a hike in. It's uh, seven o'clock. Uh, so plan on hiking in and then uh, setting up camp and probably having a nice early night, admiring the stars. Good to be back out in nature. Got some new gear to show you guys. Run through. I can do all that probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm just happy to be out fishing again. It's uh, been a while. A bit of a late start to the season. Just been up north a bit. Doing some stuff. Managed to... Managed to fish for some... Uh, some Saratoga. Didn't have much luck though. In South East Queensland. So, I did some few videos for it, but... I haven't bothered uploading them because I didn't really catch much. Although I did see lots of interesting wildlife and, and got pretty excited as well. Um, yeah, got pretty excited catching or well, seeing some fish. What am I doing? Come put my shoes on. Oh, let's see that one. Got some new. Boots, same as the old ones, they're always lightweight. They were good, the last pair, they last me a long time. Managed to hike a lot in them. I would have done oh, hundreds of kilometres, I reckon, by the end of a couple of seasons. Right, so I managed to get another pair of those. Um, got a new sort of real leader setup, which I'll go through as well. For Euro Nymphen. Uh, but just a, a small stream here, nothing too, nothing too crazy uh, to begin with. Got quite a few trips planned. Uh, I need to do some more research on the map into some more wilder spots. Try and get us get some good trips going this season. Oh. Um, yeah, the more remote, the better. A new pack I can run you guys through. So, new pack, another one. Uh, this is ultra light, hyper light. Really liking it. Uh, this is the Headwall 55, which is more for backcountry skiing. Uh, does an awesome job. Super comfortable. I've been, I've been covering a lot of ground with uh, about, I think, max about 12 kilos. I've got much now, that's only probably about 8 kilos, fully loaded with all my gear. Um, it's gone pretty ultra light though, I don't know, oh, much. Um, yeah, Dyneema, so it folds down. It's got little cool pockets on the side there for cool. But yeah, we'll see, we'll start fishing with it, see if it's comfy, but no, I'm really enjoying it. I'm a bit tender. Had a bit of a fall yesterday on my bike riding home for the first time. I was being a bit silly, trying to chase rabbits and steer into them. Well, not into them, I was just trying to spook them. And then I tried to sort of swerve back to the left and got caught on the pavement. And you know, before I knew it, it's flying through the air on my side. Landed pretty hard on the left of my side, so all scraped up down my leg and put a big bit of plaster over my elbow there, which is oh, where am I going? That's not from that it's this way. Ah, uh, yeah, all grazed up. The graze doesn't too, matter too much, a bit of blood and that sort of stuff. It's more just the, the bruising, really. 
Um, I need to go a little bit slower and just make sure I don't fall. Oh, missed this Aussie bush. This thick shit. <laughs> oh, here she is. It's the river. Oh, fish. Oh, it's a bit clearer through here. Oh man, beautiful. I don't know how the fishing's been going. Um, haven't really been following it much this season so far. Uh, if any of you have been out fishing, let me know how it's been. Uh, my mate Stimmy Nick, he's seen some monsters in a couple of streams not too far from here, so might need to go check them out at some point. Uh, like I said, up to the car. Oh, the plan is just to really push, push in pretty deep this season. You know, we're looking at long hikes in to some pretty remote water. Uh, I don't know if they hold fish or not. Um, it's right up in there in the wilderness. Uh, so might get the bike out to try and get at least a bit of the way in, but I'll just have to have a crack and see. It's more just finding the time. So I need a good solid three, four days to get into some of these spots. Um, and then who knows what the, how thick and all that sort of stuff it is. But, you know, I've fished a lot of the rivers up here now. Well, the, you know, the main ones that you sort of see on the map. Whoa, ouch. Whoa. Nice. Just to freshen up all that graze that I got from the bike fall. Um, yeah, I fished a lot of these rivers now. There's so many more to go. There's <sighs> just... All these other little streams I'm seeing on the map that, you know, they must hold fish. Oh, they're all connected. And this is still just a national park. I haven't even started on, on, um, on Tassie. No, in fact, Tassie. I haven't even started on uh, Victoria at all. I've never even fished a river in Victoria. Uh, there's heaps of waters down there. Uh, but, you know, when you've got this untouched, it's difficult to go anywhere else. Uh, the Monaro. I'm trying to fish a few of those rivers. Uh, they're supposedly fishing pretty well. Uh, but yeah, just, uh, um, I want that thrill of getting right into some remote places that, you know, might have been hardly touched before. So, you know, fishermen. Uh, what else have I got planned? Um, I don't know, if you guys want anything, just let me know. I'm happy to do whatever. Uh, be fishing most, most weekends now up until just before Christmas we head over to New Zealand to do some alpine stuff up in the glaciers there and do some training for for winter uh, oh, it's beautiful uh, and then oh booked a trip I'm gonna get the ferry across to Tassie early Jan oh I'm gonna I got like three or four weeks there I'm gonna fish it hard but what's that horses talking uh, but I don't know last time I fished like a lot of different waters it was nice to get a feel for it all I think this time I'm just going to get right up into the highlands there and just do two three day hikes back to the car afterwards and just hit some of the super remote um, fords and whatnot up there and um, try and see if we can find uh, a 10 pounder <laughs> or oh, something big anyway it'll just be good fun yeah fishing the lakes up there sight fishing if the weather's good. Woo! This is the life, eh? Ah, <sighs> fresh air. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Beautiful river. Uh, it's not much flat ground down there. Might be better off having a camp up here. Problem with setting up near the river is I'm going to encounter condensation but I've got a new tent wow yeah it's newish same as my old one but it's double walled so I'll test it out actually yeah let's see if I head down there then I can test it out I'm curious to see how it goes 
probably still have condensation issues, but with the double wall, it should hold it. You know, it should hold off me. I shouldn't be brushing up against it and getting wet. Uh, oh man, that isn't just a Aussie stream through and through. Look at that. Beautiful. I dare say you won't find much better water than that anywhere in the world for alpine streams. Uh, we don't have to call this alpine. It's pretty hard for Australia standards. All in the national park as well, so it's free. Get access wherever you want if you're willing to walk. You're not a fisherman in sight. Oh man, these pools are looking good. Oh, rises. Oh, come on, beautiful. What are we in? Like, uh, you know, November. Oh, look at these midge. So, yeah, you know, they'll start feeding off the surface, I guess. If it's warm enough, we're expecting, I think, some pretty warm temperatures the next day or two. Oh, that looks flattish down there. Um, um, at least, oh, I could probably have a flick here if I get my tent set up in time. Um, yeah, I think it's meant to hit almost like 28, 29, which means I might get a bit of a insect showing tomorrow night. A little bit of a wind's picking up as well, which will be good for it. Oh. Dead something there. Oh, this one blends in, huh? Good for uh, camping if I don't want to be saying. All right, it's feeling a bit better this one compared to the last. Let's suss out what it's like inside. Um, it's got this little cool latch on it. Oh, oh, what a nice morning. Oh, I think it's, it slept alright. It's never great the first night. Oh, let's have a look in here. It's a definitely condensation on the inside. Uh, but, <laughs> fly. Open this up and within 10 seconds there's a fly in there. Uh, but yeah, you can see it doesn't really drip on there, so it stayed pretty dry. Might be a little bit wet at the bottom where my sleeping bag is. Oh, my quilt is. Um, just because it brushes up there, only because I think I need to move my sleeping pad up a bit further, but I was on a bit of a slope. Yeah, all uh, oh, not too bad. Uh, all right. Make a cup of coffee, some breakfast. So, I've got a new little mini espresso maker. I didn't bring it with me this time. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. I need to dial it in at home. So I need to grind the coffee and uh, get the correct grind size. And then I'll know after that and I'll bring some coffee out and do it. It's quite heavy though. It's about, I think we said about 450 grams, but it's worth it for freshly brewed espresso. Uh, in the meantime, I've just got some, what is this? latte stuff from Coles. I've got a new spoon, REA. Managed to pick up some stuff on a trip over the US. I had the uh, lightweight titanium one before, but I always, I don't know why, but when the metal would scrape the bed bottom of my, of my cup, it would always uh, make me cringe a bit. So this one's got a bit of a plastic head, but super long as well. I can reach down into these packets. <sighs> um, decided to show you guys a new leader setup I've got, which I'll do shortly. This is brewing. I'm really liking this pack. Oh, because it's um, more like a sack, so if you need to really pack it up, you've got that room there. Um, I don't always feel like there's a lot of room inside, but it seems to carry stuff all right. And then this front pack is actually front couch is actually more for an avalanche kit, uh, but it works pretty well. This front pocket for just other jazz, uh, no water bear, 
paper no water bottle pouch which is uh, a little bit annoying but sometimes they're unweighted as well because you've got your water bottle out here so water bottle fits in there fine uh, and then actually really good because it's used to carrying skis on the side here so lots of good strong clips which actually hold my rod tube in place really well uh, and yeah you can stack it up and then I don't know it just works this back's not like too much to it a little bit of padding it's dyneema so it's strong and waterproof um, these just work they're pretty comfy yeah, I think you could take that off if you want but I quite like it with the pockets on the side that's useful for having stuff in there especially because you've got no out pockets uh, so yeah give it a bit of a fish I've been like I said yesterday I've been hiking a lot with it uh, some pretty steep mountains I uh, haven't done much fishing or haven't done any fishing yet with it so we'll see how it sort of sits, sits with um, netting fish and just casting and doing whatever now you can get different versions this is the headwall 55 so this is the backcountry skiing sort of version but you can get the porter which is really good um, you can get that larger and that's just for carrying um, stuff you can sort of uh, modular adapt the where this pocket is with that one uh, with different stuff um, I think there's the Western West Coast one or something it's called which is sort of the, the basic one which works really well I would assume um, they're all the same sort of pack they're just reinforced in different areas for different activities I think there's a proper mountaineering one as well which has got uh, spots for your crampons and that on the outside um, and ice picks although this one's got the loops for the tools for your ice tools uh, as well so yeah test it out let you know how it goes by the end of the season there it is packed down I reckon probably about 8 kilos maybe pretty light I could go lighter I reckon there's a, a drop of a bit more of this stuff but been out in a while so worth being take bringing a little bit more especially food I bought a little bit more food than I probably need nice holds my chest pack pretty nicely tight in tight as well pretty happy so far good setup let's go fishing a quick check make sure I haven't left anything uh, this little little hole just here maybe Oh, nice fish just in that little hole there in the fuss of the water. Oh yeah, good size actually. Come on. Let me just skull drag him but oh wow that's just um blueberry bush, blackberry bush here. Um but such light, there's such light stuff I'm using. Gotta be a little bit careful. Beautiful. Yeah, look at the size of him. What a nice fish. Barbless little hook just in the side there. Not too difficult to get out. Okay, his teeth might have just grazed that. I need to replace it. Oh man, what a beautiful, healthy fish! Huh? Nice brown trout. See you later. You.
uh, and I think it's pretty easy to spook the fish. I'm not that confident in this fly. Had to go pretty heavy, which is not ideal. Just to combat this wind. And it's like a sort of red perdigan with a purple collar. I haven't fished it much before. Never had much luck though. And it's probably this fishing at the moment's not great, so probably not giving me confidence. Should probably just go to a confidence flight. Which I might do shortly, maybe. Oh god, that looks terrible. And I lost my fly. So that wind's a bit of difficult now, so I've just changed the short casts upstream. Seems to be the easiest way. Oh, <laughs> oh there's a fish, stick fish. Seems to be the uh, Easiest way to maintain contact. No, bugger. Just as I got to the most fishiest bit as well. A grasshopper, the first one I've seen. A bit higher up here in the grass, long grass. Now, a bit more protected from the wind over this side. A, I think it's got a pretty heavy nymph on here though. Size three. Oh no, there's that wind. Oh, yeah. There's an illusion. What is going on? surface then. Nice. Yes! That was the one. Yoo-hoo! Go boy! Yeah! Get out of there. Get a little fish. It's keeping me in the water. Come on, get that out of your mouth, mate. Sunny. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, rainbow. <laughs> Under his little rock. The Ichi came up and fed. Maybe it's warming up now. He came up, took something just subsurface. I saw him flash. And then obviously went back down into his hole. And I put that nymph past him a few times. <laughs> Triggered him. Oh, good fish. Nice. Um, little beetle. Good to see. Not many of them, but I 
Ha, det lär det. Det är en fisk. I knew, I was like, that seems so fishy. Whoa, good rainbow as well. Whoa, big fat boy is right at the bottom. Get out of that rock. Whoa. Oh, solid fish. Got this light gear as well, so I've got to be careful. Whoa. Ah, it's fighting properly. Let's get that pressure on him. Bring him up. He just want to go. That must be his hole. Oh wow, that's a good fish. Yeah! Woo! Oh man, what a nice rainbow. Good fight as well. Oh, it's turning on a bit now. I think the water's just warming up. Oh man, look at that fish. Come on. Ah, that's right in there as well. Ah, so it's a super weird angle. Just use a bit of quickly. Oh no. What's he got there on his side? Look. Some sort of bit of a disease maybe. Hey, little buddy. They're not out in force today, that's for sure. Still November. And it could just be the day. Just hiding out some days you get that. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just not very active. Oh, there's a little one. I mean, normally, it's a good dry fly here if you just sort of wait up, flicking. No. What was that? Birds. Rise, maybe. That's actually a nice looking little run. I might hop in here. Oh, we're hopping back there. Fish it from the other side. 